Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you guys had an amazing holiday with your friends and family. I definitely did. I ate so many tamales. I'm actually still eating tamales. Like, a lot. It was such a good time. I had such a great Christmas here at my house. And now we're approaching New Year's Eve, and I just love everything about New Year's Eve. I love that it's this time where you get ready, all dolled up. I always tend to get ready with my girlfriends because it's more fun that way. And we all get ready, take lots of pictures. You know, I like to go out with all my friends. And, you know, it's all about sparkle and looking your best. And then at midnight, everyone does this magical countdown, and you either kiss somebody or maybe you don't kiss somebody, but, you know, I'll probably be kissing somebody. Steven. I wanted to do a makeup look that was still glittery, still glam, but not too overwhelming. Maybe this might be overwhelming for some, but I just feel like this is so beautiful. I don't feel too heavy glitter, but I feel like when the light hits me, you're going to be like, I say it later on in the video, but really you could change the wing color to match whatever your outfit is, which I think is awesome. If you want to do a blue or a silver or gold or even a black glitter, which I think would look really pretty if you're afraid of color, which a lot of people are. I am not the most colorful person, but I think this is so stunning. I'm so happy with the way it came out. So we're just going to go ahead and get into the tutorial because I feel like I've been... Okay, let's go. I lips are so dry right now. I'm using the Linda Hallberg Infinity Gloss. I love this stuff. You could use it on your lips, eyes, face. Just gives my skin like this pretty glow. I'm gonna let that sit in on my skin. I'm kind of trying to figure out exactly what it is that I wanna do for this look, and I have a little bit of an idea, but I'm just kind of winging it right now. So going into the KKW, this is the Smoky Volume 1 palette, and I'm gonna be taking this bone color here, applying it on my, this is actually too fluffy of a brush for me. So I'm taking a flat brush, and I'm gonna apply it under the brow bone first. Pull it down. And if you see specks of glitter all over my face already, that's because I was playing with so much glitter, so basically everywhere now, all over my desk. First thing I'm gonna do is dip into a bronzer. This is one of the KKW bronzers. I wish it had like the label here, but it's this shade. <laughs> Terrible, this shade. But any bronzer you could use, like if you have Benefit Hoola, I'm gonna take that first and give myself the shape that I want before I do anything with eyeshadows really bringing it into the inner part of my brow bone. How are your holidays? I feel like I haven't sat and done a tutorial in a minute. I've just been taking all this time, just enjoying my life with my family. Like it's been so incredible. We've had some good things happening, some bad things happening, but I just wanted to be with my family and have quality time. So I haven't been like, pressuring myself to film and I feel great about that. Now I feel a little bit more inspired and I'm actually so inspired that I couldn't even decide on a look because there's so many looks I have floating in my head. Really what I try to think about is what do I want to wear? What's the look that I want to wear on New Year's Eve? I think I would go with some sparkle but not too much. Kind of what I'm doing here. Anyways, yeah, we've experienced um, a death and a life, new life in my family this week, which has been really crazy and emotional. Life is just so precious. It just makes you appreciate what is important in life. And that to me is always family and my friends and my loved ones and memories. And that's really what I care about. So I took this time to just do that and enjoy myself. Now that I'm here, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of do I need tape? I'm gonna just use a little tape actually, just so I could blend freely without worrying about getting eyeshadow too far. Harouche told me that in order to get the right angle of your wing, you wanna line up the tape with like the angle of your brow here and then bring that down here. And that should be right. That's the trick, so that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna tape those down and hope for the best. Now that I did that, I feel like I could blend freely all the way out here and it's gonna look okay because we have the tape protecting our edges here. Anyways, I had an incredible Christmas. I'm so happy that everything went really well and it was awesome. I hope you guys had a great holiday and I'm just wondering what everyone's doing for New Year's because I have absolutely no plans. I never actually have plans for New Year's like until the night of and then I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just do that. Taking a clean brush, by the way, and just buffing those edges. I like the idea of having an outfit and getting ready. Do I really want to go out? I don't know, that's the question. What do people do on New Year's? Like, 
go to clubs or what? I'm not a club person anymore. Those days have come and gone. I love using this bronzer in my crease because it's such a nice neutral tone. I feel like this bronzer is gonna be a really nice in between, not too warm, not too cool tone, so that I could still apply cooler tone shadows in my crease and it's gonna be okay with this transition shade. Next, I'm gonna be dipping into this shade right here from the KKW Smoky Volume 1 palette and this is the shade Exotic. It's like a taupey, cool toned color, which I know, I know, cool tones. But I wanted to switch it up, you know? I didn't want to do a warm tone look, but somehow I have a feeling this will still end up being a warm tone look. Somehow. I don't know how it happens, but it always does. Okay, so I'm dipping into that, and I'm actually gonna be using a Sigma Medium Sweeper brush. This is more of like a flat shader brush to really pack the color in the crease. Tilting my head back so I get a really nice gauge of where my crease is, and then I'm just gonna start applying that into the deepest part of the socket. I'm taking that and I'm sweeping it along the tape here and into the outer V, really smoking out this outer part of the eye. Taking the clean brush and then also whatever I laid down, just buffing out those edges into that tape so that it, when I take the tape off, it looks all nice and smoky and smooth. Anyways, if anybody's having a New Year's party, Send me the invite, okay? Because I don't have any plans over here. And I have like a dress too that I could wear, which is very rare that I have something. Oh, I really, really love this eyeshadow color. Mm. Really, really liking it. And I feel like because it has like this taupey, somewhat of a purpley undertone that it's gonna make brown eyes really, really stand out too. Green eyes as well. I mean, any color, honestly, it's one of those nice neutral colors that has the perfect undertone to make any eyes stand out. I'm gonna give these outer edges one last blend before I take the tape off. Actually, this one's fine, I think. I'll take this tape off because honestly, I'm semi-allergic to tape. I'm like adhesives and I don't wanna get a rash. I know, I'm risking it all right now for this tutorial, you guys. If it's not perfect, that's fine because I'm gonna do a wing anyways. So, no big deal. But I'm just gonna take this flat brush and just like kind of buff out these edges so there's not a harsh, harsh edge. I'm gonna take a Morphe E36 pencil blending brush. And I'm dipping now into that color we used in the crease and also this black eyeshadow as well. I'm gonna mix a little bit of those together. I'm gonna start deepening out this crease a little more on this outer part of the eye. So I'm just creating this V, putting that on this outer part of the eye. So I'm gonna be going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm gonna be creating a dramatic wing. I'm unsure if I'm gonna do anything on the lid yet. I'm gonna do the liner first and then work backwards from there. So first I'm gonna create a pretty dramatic wing looking straight. I'm gonna take it out and then tilt my head back. This is just gonna go to my brow bone right now. Okay, just take a makeup wipe. I'm gonna bring it down here as well. I'm gonna be using the Diamond Crumbles Dazzle Shadow Liquid by MAC Cosmetics. And this is just like a liquid eyeshadow, but I'm gonna apply it over the liner that we just put down. Cause I want it to look sparkly and not black. We wanna have something more exciting going on than just black. I'm taking some of that on the back of my hand. It looks very chunky here, like cottage cheese sparkles. <laughs> and I'm gonna be putting that onto a, I don't even know what brush this is, just any angled brush. And we're gonna apply it over top of this liner. Cause I want it to be sparkly and kind of blue. I'm starting small because I don't know how this is gonna look. That looks cool. So much precision going on. I'm not breathing, speaking, nothing. Taking a little bit of black eyeshadow and applying it to deepen the outer part of the crease here and connecting it to the wing that we just created. This glitter wing. The, the thought of doing the other eye when you're doing a wing is like terrifying. 
Don't you wish you could just be like, okay, I'm ready to copy and paste this on the other side. I think the eyes are looking pretty good. I did the other wing. I didn't breathe. It was difficult, but we're here. We're ready to move on. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna do my skin next. And I'm gonna be using my current favorite foundation, which is the Becca Skin Love Foundation. This is the Weightless Blur. I don't know, something about this foundation is just, it's like not too heavy, it's not too matte, not too dewy, it's just, it's so nice. And what I like about this is that also, you can apply it with a brush or you can apply it with a beauty blender and it looks good both ways. I really like it because when I'm in a rush, I can just buff it in so fast, which is what I've been doing lately. I'm using my IT Cosmetics. This is the Flawless Complexion Brush, which I love this brush. You guys, I'm having a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup cereal break. This is like one of my faves. As you can see, this foundation is a nice tan color, but it matches like my body. So right now, my face looks a lot tanner than my neck, but we will just buff it all in. I'm gonna apply a little concealer. Concealer done, we're gonna set that. I'm gonna be using a little bit of the Too Faced, the peach powder. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of that using a BH Cosmetics 7 brush. I'm gonna pick up this this ColourPop F16 brush, and I'm gonna dip that into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to apply it on the sides of the nose and on the cheeks, the apples of the cheeks here. Los cachetes. I'm also gonna place that right here on the forehead, down the center of the nose, a little bit on the chin. I'm also gonna set the rest of my face because it's New Year's Eve and I would like to make sure my makeup stays on all night so I wanna set everything. So I'm just taking a little mixture of powders. Makeup by Ariel actually mixed this for me. It's literally like a bunch of different translucent powders that are closer to my skin tone. It's a color like this. That way my face doesn't look super ashy or white when I use like just translucent. So I'm just gonna press that into the skin. Usually I would use those little powder puffs, but I don't know where it is right now. Now everything's set, I'm gonna work on the lower lash line. I'm using the Persona Cosmetics liner pencil. This is in the shade brown. And I'm gonna start applying that on the outer part of the eye, connecting it to the blue wing. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of blend that out into the lash line, because I want it to be smoky but keeping the smoke on the outer part of the eye just like we did the top here. And then I'm gonna bring it in the waterline. From what I've experienced with this liner, it's super, super long lasting. So for New Year's, that's exactly what you want. Just something that's gonna stay and not drip down your eyes. Ugh, Cause there's nothing worse than being in the club. You're like, you know, grinding on somebody. I know you guys are out there doing that. I used to do it back in the day, okay? And then you get sweaty and your liner starts like going down, like down all your under eye. It looks terrible. Remember these Tri-City dances? Ooh. When the teachers had to like pull you apart. Like, okay, you're getting a little too freaky deaky. I am now going to smoke that out just slightly using a no-name brush that's here. Just has a little flat tip. Take a mixture of this gray shade and this color that we used in the crease. And I'm just gonna lightly run that along the lash line. Nothing too intense or too low. Usually I take this really low and I love making my lower lash line super smoky, but this time, it's all about the liner, so I'm just keeping it right up to this lash line. See how nice that looks? It looks really soft. And then finally, I'm dipping into that black and just pressing it into the outer part of the lower lash line, just right here. And I'm pressing it so that I don't have any fallout. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm just using my MAC Extended Play because I'm gonna apply some falsies, so I just want a nice quick coat. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I didn't actually put any eyeshadow on my lid. I mean, I s just had a base of Tarte Shape Tape when I did my eyeshadow, so that's pretty much all that's on my lid. And you could set that with a translucent powder. You could always use a shadow there if you want, but I like the way it looks kind of like skin. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I guess since I'm here, 
I'll tell you guys some of my New Year's resolutions. These have always been my resolutions for life. I guess this year is just the year that I'm really planning on like hoping that it all happens. Actually not hoping, I'm gonna be working to make it all happen. And I wanna start my own brand, but I want that brand to not just be makeup. You guys know I love everything. I love fashion. I always thought I would design clothing. I even wanna design like kids clothes too. Like I wanna have a brand and just design a bunch of stuff under that brand. That's my goal, that's my my dream. And that's what I'm gonna be working towards this year. I hope to start a family this year, but you know, the way things, you know, we'll see. I could only pray that that will happen for me and hopefully this year it does, that would be everything. <sighs> that's pretty much how I'm feeling, that's my, that's like what I see. Actually, I see that happening for myself. You have to be really positive and put it out to the world, it's gonna happen. All right, that's enough mascara. For lashes, I'm using Batty B Lashes in the shade, and not the shade, because lashes don't come in the shade, in the style, Batty. I'm gonna look down into my mirror and hope for the best. These are actually pretty easy to put on. Give them a little lift. Wow, that was strangely easy to apply, which I'm kind of feeling like I'm being punked right now, like something's about to happen. Like, you know when your lash sticks to your tweezer and then you go to like remove the tweezers and the lash goes with it? I love this look because it's still a statement, but not crazy. And then I'm just gonna take a black Urban Decay liner and this is the perversion shade and I'm just gonna tight line the upper waterline. Making sure no skin peeks through because you never want to have this bomb lash and then you could see your skin peeking through. I was also thinking about applying a little bit of a star on the lower lash line, but I don't know, we'll see. I have these little stars and I'm thinking one like right here and right here could be cool. Okay, let me, let me just finish the rest of the face and then I'll mull it over, think about it, come back to it. I need to really just think about my decisions here. I'm gonna go in with my Guerlain bronzer in 05, and I'm just gonna warm up my face a little bit, shorten my forehead. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Fenty Diamond Balm, and I'm going to actually pop that on the top of my brow bone, just cause like the rest of the eye is matte, but I still need a little sparkle and I think this is a good time just so it glistens. This is the perfect glisteny. Ooh, it's midnight, the light just shot on me. Ooh, it's midnight, the light just hit me. You're looking for someone to kiss and you're like, yeah, that one. This is the perfect glisteny highlight for New Year's, I feel like. So I'm gonna put it on the brow bone, inner corner. And I think, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna like, as if the light hits all the way down at a diagonal, I'm just gonna lightly at a diagonal, so brow bone and this down the center, just slightly. I still want it to look mostly matte, but almost like just a glisten. See that? Oh my God, that's so pretty. Woo! That just gave me chills. Mm, mm, mm. I'm excited. Ooh, that Fenty Diamond Balm just really took it to where it needed to go. You guys already know, I just gotta hit it with a little Fuego Dose of Colors highlight. This is a part of our Desi X Katie collection and this is just still so good, you know? I'm gonna take a little bit of that on a Smith Cosmetics brush and just right down the center of the nose. I don't want like crazy highlight, okay? That's, just, that's not the vibe I'm going for, so I'm just lightly applying so I have a beautiful sheen because the eyes are so sparkly. Just a little bit of the highlight here. And then, gotta highlight that forehead just slightly. Mm, mm, mm. For blush, I'm gonna be using the KKW Destiny blush. And I love to take the blush like across the nose a little. All right, let's start with lip liner first because I'm probably gonna use multiple lip liners. That's how it goes. I'm using Strip Down. I wanna know why MAC Cosmetics discontinued HodgePodge lip liner. Hmm? That lip liner is so good and I'm so sad. 
It's been discontinued for a minute, I think. I actually have one. It's probably so expired, but I still use it because one of my favorite lip liners to use. And I just want to know like, if I could have more of those. You guys, I'm hearing heavy winds outside right now and heavy birds squawking. So, bird box or what? I'm just saying. Let's overline these lips. Now, typically from here, I would find hodgepodge and put that on the outer, outer corner of my lips, but it's also discontinued, so I guess that's rude of me to use it anyways in a video. But I just want you guys to know how I'm feeling right now. I'm upset. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. I'll use this KKW liner that just keeps coming out on me here. This is Nude 2. See how that just made it a little bit deeper? And then I'm gonna be using Miss Fame's lipstick in Flash of Flesh. And I'm just gonna be patting that into the lip. That's the trick, you guys, with nude lips. You pat them in. Then I'm gonna take a, a fluffy brush here and just blend the lip liner into the lipstick. And then for my gloss, I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Rockin' It. This is part of the Mickey Mouse collection. And I'm gonna pop that in the center. Oh my God, it smells like vanilla frosting. It smells so good. Oh, yes. So by just applying it in the center, it's gonna give you more of a juicy pout. Of course, lip gloss isn't always the best if you're gonna be, you know, kissing. But I still wear it because I don't care. By the time midnight strikes, you'll already have had so many beverages that your lip gloss will be gone anyway. So you might as well just like look cute at first, you know? Cool. Mm. Listen, I thought about the stars. I decided against them. I really, really, really just love how this looks right now. I think the eyeliner is the show. And what gave me that little extra something something was the Fenty Diamond Bomb glitter going down the high points of the eye, which made it look so pretty. Oh my God, look at that, you guys. That was what I was missing. And now that I have that, I don't need the stars. So this is it, we are finished. This is my finished New Year's Eve glam. What's really cool about this makeup look is that depending on what you're wearing, if you're wearing gold and maybe you don't want blue, you could always do the same exact look with other glitters, other um, pigments on the eyeliner. If you want to do something sparkly, but you're not really a colorful person, maybe like me, you could always make the liner even a sparkly black liner and that would look so pretty and just do the same eyeshadow with that Fenty Bomb glitter everywhere. And you know what? I might just, oh, no. Mm, should I? Mm, no. I was about to take that Fenty glitter bomb and put it like on the high points of my full face, but I don't want to look too sparkly. I want everything to go straight to my eyes. So this is it. This is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. There's glitter in my nostril. I could actually see it right now. I'm going to take a break, you guys, to eat this cereal. Oh, this is, this is not what I needed. I just love this blush. Blush. Mmm. 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 Do you see this, Steven? Would you see me and be like, that's that bitch right there? Ooh. That's what I'm gonna call this tutorial. That's that bitch, that's that bitch right there. Makeup tutorial. <laughs>